Hello everyone, I'm Miss Sharon from Midpoint Library System. Welcome to kindergarten. That's going to be our focus for today. We're going to have some stories, jokes, books, and songs about going to kindergarten. This is a very exciting time for you. There are five candles on your cake. You're finally old enough to go to kindergarten. Maybe you went to preschool and even had a graduation. You are now taller and stronger too. Your body can play games and sports. Your mind is growing with the stories that you have read. You have grown in other ways too. You can help with many things. Maybe you help with chores around the house. Maybe you help with your little brother or sister or help with the laundry. You are growing up. It's time for kindergarten. We know that you are ready for kindergarten, but I have a story about a pigeon who isn't so sure kindergarten is ready for him. He just isn't sure that he's, it's time to go to kindergarten. Let's read The Pigeon Has to Go to School by Mo Willems and see what the pigeon discovers. There you can see the title. The pigeon has to go to school and the pigeon says, come on. Wait, don't read that title. Too late. Rats. Why do I have to go to school? I already know everything. Go on. Ask me a question. Any question. Hmm. Well, I know almost everything. Does school start in the morning? Because you know what I'm like in the morning. It is not pretty. I wish I was a little chick again. A little itty bitty, not going to school, baby, baby pigeon. What if I really, really don't like it? What if, oh, oh, what if the teacher doesn't like pigeons? And the stuff, what about all the stuff? There is so much to learn. What if I learn too much? My head might pop off. I'm scared. What will happen at school? What if there's math or numbers? Why does the alphabet have so many letters? Reading can be hard with one big I. What about lunch? What will the other birds think of me? Will finger paint stick to my feathers? What's up with those heavy backpacks? I'm a fragile bird. The unknown stresses me out, dude. There should be a place to practice those things with experts to help you and books and classrooms, and other birds to work and play with. Maybe a playground. Oh, that is school. Well, how am I supposed to get there anyway? <gasps> was a, was a, what? Step aside, coming through. The pigeon has to go to school. The end. So, the pigeon will be going to school and loving the ride on the bus. 
I'll bet you know a song about a bus. Can you sing along with me the song, The Wheels on the Bus? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The driver of the bus says, please sit down, please sit down, please sit down. The driver of the bus says, please sit down, all through the town. So, the school bus is going to go to kindergarten. Do you know what letter begins the word kindergarten? K. K is for kindergarten. Can you think of other things that start with the letter K? How about some animals whose names start with the letter K? Kitten, yes. And I think I heard somebody say kangaroo. That's right, too. There is another animal that begins with the letter K from Australia. This one is a hard one. It looks a little like a cute, cuddly bear. So it really isn't a bear. Think really hard. Have you got it? It's a koala. How about a toy? Can you think of a toy that begins with a letter K? I think I heard somebody say kite. Other words that begin with a letter K? Keys and king. Uh-oh, you know what that means? It means it's time for a joke. How do bees get to school? Oh, let me think. Hmm, with their wings? No, that, that's, that's not a funny joke. Um, do they walk? That wouldn't be funny either. How do bees get to school? A school buzz. Oh, yeah. Okay, I get it. I have another fun book about an animal going to kindergarten. Not a bird, but a buffalo. A buffalo is much bigger than a bird. So a buffalo is going to have all kinds of problems for the teacher, the class, and some problems for the poor sweet buffalo himself. This book is called, Is Your Buffalo Ready for Kindergarten? It is written by Audrey Vernick. Some people say kindergarten is no place for a buffalo. How crazy is that? Does your buffalo have a backpack? Well then, he's definitely ready for kindergarten. Is he feeling shy? That's okay. It can be hard to start something new especially when your buffalo will be the only one with horns and a mane. Okay, and a hump. But who can resist that furry face? Is he worried about being the only one who's not good with scissors? Or the only one afraid of scissors? Begin simply. Have your buffalo hold the scissors. Okay, maybe your buffalo can't cut yet, but maybe most kids aren't the state animal of Oklahoma or pictured on old nickels like your buffalo is. Everyone's special in his or her own way. That's the kind of thing you learn in kindergarten. Won't your buffalo just love recess? He may need time to get used to the no grazing rule. And swings may not be for everyone, but schoolyard games are. Some kids are great hiders. Others are good seekers. And your buffalo is the very best hiding spot ever. Finger painting is such fun. Remind your buffalo, it's okay to get messy. 
No true artist stays clean. And you never know what kind of masterpiece those hooves might create. Ooh, very pretty. Cooperating and taking turns are both very big deals in kindergarten. But your buffalo may sometimes get frustrated, like when someone takes his building blocks or calls him fluppalo. Another buffalo might be tempted to nudge those kids. But not your buffalo. He'll stop, take a deep breath, and remember the rules for caring and sharing. That's why kindergarten's so great. You learn to get along without using your horns. Snack time! Your buffalo is probably looking forward to sharing treats with a classmate. But he may be the only one who eats grass, then throws it up in his mouth and eats it again. Remember, everyone's special in his or her own way. Your buffalo will want to look sharp on school picture day. Does he have a favorite shirt? A suit? Tie? It's not always easy for a well-dressed buffalo to stay spiffy. That's okay, as long as he smiles that mighty buffalo smile. Sometimes it's hard to decide who to play with or sit next to at story time. This will not be a problem for your buffalo. True, he may be the tiniest bit smelly, but he's so cheerful and friendly, not to mention warm and cuddly. Can your buffalo balance on a tightrope? Just kidding. He doesn't need to do that unless he's going to clown kindergarten. Anyone who says kindergarten is no place for a buffalo has definitely not met yours. He belongs there. He loves it. In fact, he may not ever leave. Good luck with that. <laughs> Well, the end. We've seen how the buffalo enjoys school. Let's see. Let's talk about you. What do you think you may need to take to kindergarten? Oh, I heard television. No. <laughs> Let's try again. Somebody said a bed. Mm, no, no, uh, you won't need your bed. It'll be there waiting for you when you get home, though. Let's try again. What do you think you might need to take to kindergarten? A backpack. That's a good one. What would you put in your backpack? I think I heard someone say a pencil box and pencils. That's a very good idea. Crayons are another good idea. Or maybe tissues. Some schools would like a three ring binder. Or a ruler to do your measuring. Each school is different. They will tell your adult exactly what will be the right things for you to bring. Joke time. Okay. Who is the king of school supplies? Hmm. Well, now think about that for a minute. We just mentioned it, I think. The ruler. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's read another book about going to kindergarten. The book we will read is Kindergarten is Cool by Linda Marshall. It doesn't have any animals attending kindergarten. There are no silly pigeons or sweet buffaloes in the book. It does tell the story of what boys and girls might actually see and do on a school day. When you wake up for school, you'll get dressed really cool with your sneakers and socks and your lunch in a box. Kindergarten's begun. 
Big kids say that it'll be fun, but is that really true? Will it be fun for you? First you wave bye to home, then you're off on your own. You're not little, not you. You're a big kid. It's true. Go by bus, car, or walk. On the way, there is talk about new friends and school, teachers, pencils, books, rules. As you enter the door, you see blocks on the floor. Science stuff to explore. Spots for dress up and store. You sing A, B, C's. You count one, two, threes. You count oh so high. It seems numbers fly. And you stretch to the stars. Reach for Jupiter, Mars. Then you rest very snug on the book corner rug as the teacher reads tales about singing whales or a duck that's named Ping or the king of wild things. When your class goes outside, you jump rope, skip, or slide. Or you play on the swings, monkey bars, or the rings. By the time recess ends, you'll have made some new friends. Then it's time to head back for your lunch, juice, or snack. And at playtime you try with a smile and a hi to meet the cool girl with a dark drooping curl. Or the kid with the smile that goes on for a mile. Or the boy building blocks who is wearing striped socks. Will he be your friend? But day's over and then clean up hurry fuss there's a rush for the bus at night in your bed there is much in your head about teachers and school music art friends and rules a whole new world to explore science reading and more now you're big, you're in school, and it really is cool. The end. Well, this is interesting. They had a wonderful time at kindergarten, but how about you? How will kindergarten be for you? Well, at last, the big day arrives. It is time to go to school. You have your backpack and school supplies. You are ready. You will learn the alphabet and how letters can make words. Soon the words will make sentences and you will be reading. You will also learn numbers and how to count. Maybe there will be a dress-up area where you can pretend to be a chef, a police officer, a fire chief, or an astronaut. You can build and paint. You will make art projects. There will be recess where you can play and climb. You will make friends and dream of a future and begin to learn how to make all those dreams come true. 
So what is kindergarten? It's exciting. It's fun. You are ready. You can do this. Thank you for being part of our kindergarten program. Great job. You did it. And I know you will do a great job in kindergarten too.